Hello everyone, let's begin part 5. In this part, I will explain the postfix authentication with the Sassel and chapter 13, postfix authentication with TLS. First one, chapter 11, the postfix authentication the using Sassel. First one, number one, why to use Sassel authentication? Why we need to use Sassel authentication? Normally, postfix support authentication using this one, my network parameters. So if some the user belong to this my network parameters, anytime they can access to send relay mail through this first fix. But let's imagine the mobile users wish to, uh, to use the mail server away from the this base. So in this case, the these mobile users cannot access this the mail sub because they does not belong to this my network. So the this SAS normally support the mobile users who does not belong to this my the my network parameters. And the need the SAS the need the mechanism to authenticate them authenticate as a trusted users who are the trusted users to use this mail server. So they can able to send the mail through this first big mail server. SAS means the simple authentication and the security layers. Normally SAS provide the mechanism of the authenticating users using username and password. And the, the most well-known implementation SAS is a CIDRS SAS library. So if we want to support what well, if we want to the SAS, then you have to install this package first. Number two, SAS layers. Normally the SAS consists of three layers, authentication interface and the mechanism and method. First, the authentication interface, it means Client and the server normally exchange the data to process the authentication, normally this one, the username and password. This communication normally takes place in the authentication interface. So the SAS leaves this one to the specific communication protocol, for example, like uh, SMTP or IMAP or LDAP, like this. For example, if we use uh, the SMTP, then we can use like this, Telet, the uh, first big mail server, and port number 25. This one is a uh, SMTP port number. Now, uh, number two, mechanism. To configure the mechanism of the SAS, normally we can use this file, etc. SAS2, smtp.com. So here we can configure. And the, normally the mechanism is, uh, we call this one second layer of SAS. And in this mechanism, we can determine or define the verification the strategy to, during the authentication. Normally use the, to use the username and password. There are three kinds, anonymous, the plain text, and shared secret. Normally, anonymous we don't use, so postfix does not offer this access. So, in this part, we will use this one, plain text and shared secret key. And the plain text requires the client to calculate the base 64, the encoded string of the username and password. It means Using base 64 encoding the encoded string, normally username and password will be encoded. So we call this one plain and login. So if we want to use SAS with the plain text mechanism, we have to configure this one plain and login. Number three, shared secret. This one normally the based off on the assumption the client and the server both already share secret using challenge and response. So if we want to use this one, the mechanism must be defined this one, cram MD5 and digest MD5. In this video, I will use number two plain text. Number three method, if we want to configure the SAS method, we can use this file, etc.config, sas So here there are many kinds 
the remote to the IMAP, LDAP, Coverers, the uh, password and shadow, PAM, SASL DB, SQL, like this. So in this video, I will use this one, PAM or shadow. If you want to the change this one, we can use this file. Okay, uh, to verify the password, I already told you SASL number use use the password and the username to verify their authentication. So to verify the password, there are three kinds. First one, SAS authentication daemon, uh, ox uh, PROP property, and OS daemon. So normally, OS daemon normally can be used to, the, to support the career ascent daemon password. So in this video, I uh, will not use this one. So Normally, we use two kinds, SASL daemon or ox property like this. So the SASL daemon is a standalone daemon, and this one normally handles only plain text mechanism. And if we want to use the MD5, then we have to use this one, ox property like this. So this one represents the library used by the server offering authentication. Normally, this one support or handle plain text and shared secret together. So here, there is a chart to explain this one. So SASL D normally support plain login, but does not support MD5, MD5, because this one normally use the shared key between client and server. And the property support all plain login and uh, uh, client MD5, I digest MD5 as well to use the shared secret key. And uh, number two five here, so first, if we want to configure mechanism and password service, at first we have to use this file. It is SASL do smtpd.com. So default is this one, the SASL D, and mechanism will be plain and login. And if you want to change, then you can use this one, ask property. In this case, this one normally support shared secret gate using the two as such as like a cram md5 that is md5 as well in this video only i will use this one and the number uh, 2.6 uh, sasl d in etc config slash sasl rcd if you want to change the hue here we can uh, change the mechanism for example the default is a pam but if you want to change it to shadow then you can change or we can use the, this kind of command, SAS as D, the mechanism will be shadow like this. In this case, the, you have to the, shut down the SAS D1 first. Or if you want to use the IMAP, limit IMAP, then like this. The R, the IMAP, and the, you have to configure exact the IMAP server name. Okay, number three, to find what SAS implementation are uh, compiled into force to fix, then if you use the post column for A and A, then we can see the SAS support in SMTP server. Number four, if we want to configure SAS authentication in the force to fix, we have to use this file main.cf so here we have to configure like this SAS authentication the broken SAS authentication client yes normally this one the can be used for normally the windows the outlook express or outlook like this uh, as a M MUA and the SAS type will be the top code and the path and the option Non, no anonymous, so anonymous users cannot use this one. And if there are Lispian restrictions here, permit my network, SARS authentications, and the on us destination will be rejected like this. And the dove code, if we want to configure the, on the dove code for the SARS, then normally use this file, 10 master.com. So here, only at uh, first time we configured this one so here just activate this line post fix smtp us so here this one private us and mode number 10. okay and after that the first fix uh, start and double go start testing there are two kinds testing sensor so first at first we use this file 
SAS2 SM, the sample server and SAS2 sample client. So first open the port number of 8000 using this file and after that we can uh, access this port using this one mechanism plain looking. And then we can uh, maybe the, this one will cast the authentication ID, authorization ID, and password. In my case, I will use TLAN. So if you want this kind of user, at first we have to use this command sas password 2 then we can create this kind of user or if you want to change the mechanism so here i already told you the default is a pen but we can the change like this and after that if you the check the process of the sas then you can see the mechanism is a the shadow and after that the test authentication uh, using this command and the username and password then you can test uh, number A is uh, testing using only Cyrus Sasser but the B is a uh, testing SMTP ARS. So here, I already told you Sasser normally use the base 64 encoding method to for the username and password. So here if in my case username the linux and the password linux1234 using the power then this one will show you this kind of the encoding so if we want to test the smtp first the access like this telnet server the port number 25 and of that echo lost so here earth plane this the base 64 encoding line so here then this line linux and linux is uh, one two three four is uh, valid then we can see this kind of the message authentication successful like this and after that uh, e uh, if we want to check the this uh, first pics to support the sas then we can check the mail log and after that using the try to use wireshark Okay, then first, uh, let's go to the here. In my case, I already here the connected to the server, and here is a client. So let's check the client first, so, uh, the server first. Okay, let's check the first etc. Okay, first, let's check the package okay in my case i can found find this kind of sas uh, the package okay and after that etc uh, sas to smtpd.com so here the password mechanism is a sas d and the mechanism list here plain login like this okay and after that one more thing cat etc sysconfig Sasser D. So here Sasser the will leave the socket directory here and so here the mechanism fam mechanism is shadow like this. So in my case different mechanism now change to shadow. So let's check like this process Sasser. So now here Sasser D using the mechanism is a shadow like this. Okay, and uh, one more thing, if we want to uh, change SAS authentication, so now it's a shadow, but if I want to uh, change the PAM like this, but now already using the SAS SASL, the demo using the shadow, so first service SAS the start first, and after that PAM. So now let's check SAS like this. So it's a default mechanism, it's a PAM. So now let's try to again and after that process checking. Then now it's a default, it's a shadow. Okay, and after that, post conf a. So now the uh, the 
the post fix is a already the compiled to support Cyrus and Dubcode as well. Okay, this one also normally so now Cyrus is support the post fix. Okay, and after that, let's go to the post fix. Okay, then main.com. So here, let's check. SAS, in my case, I already configured like this. So here, SAS enabled client yes, double code, and non anonymous and peer restriction like this. Okay, and after that, let's check the double code. It is C double code. And the conf D. So let first check the master. So here, let's go to the this line. So line number the 75 service auth. So here, auth user database and user. And here as well, the private auth mode like this. Okay, then the sasser and the dove code is ready to use the post fix and the dove code service first fix restart. And have that the service dove code restart. Okay, then let's try to the test the sasser. First, let's check the Sasser testing first Sasser two sample server the SRCMD and the port number a thousand. So now ready. So here Sasser as well sample client SR limit to CMD and the port number same. And the mechanism will be played. Okay, so here in my case, I will tillend and uh, same password. So now successful authentication. And one more user, let's try to use uh, Linux. Linux, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, now successful authentication. Or test sasser user. Okay, let's try to Kim password Kim one two three four. So now success. So now sasser testing side sasser authentication is successful. Okay, then let's test the. SMTP auth authentication. So first, the telnet server 25. Call host. And after that, the auth plane. Here, I already used this one. So in my case, the... Okay, here. Okay, so here. The, in my case, uh, username the Linux and the password Linux1234. Then this one will show the base64 encoding line. Okay, copy. And after that, the base. Okay, now authentication successful. Okay, so now the SAS is working well. And after that, let's test the using the Wireshark first here in the server part, I started already this one. Okay, capture interface. Okay, start. And the client, so here, uh, will the send mail, mail, and the title, sasser test. And the username tland.com and etc password. Okay, then the, let's go back to the server part and the capture. So here, 
stop and after that let's check the SMTP authentication SMTP the from the client for example this one now hello client and uh, now here root from the client and the two okay let's look at this one okay so now this one we, if we use uh, the Wireshark to the capture packet of the mail, then we can see all information. Okay, for example, this one, the sender, and this one is a sender information. This one, the receiver information, and here the the uh, email, the ID of the receivers. So. In case of the using the SAS, we can see all the data. So now here I send the etc password file through the TLAN in the server. So if we use the the Wireshark, we can see all content like this. So even if the SAS support the authentication from the for the mobile use but does not support encryption so now the now i will show you how to set up the post fix authentication using ssl tls why we have to use the tls authentication because i already show you smtp us using the plain text by the implemented by the SAS normally is not the this string is the, just the encoded and not encrypted so tls normally support encrypt the transmission of the encoding data so to use uh, tls support for the post fix so at first we have to create tls first so at first go to this directory etc pka tls sort so here in this directory, we have to create the key, it's a private key, and the certificate as well. So here first, I will create this one, server key, the name, and after that, open SSRSA, input the server key, output server key. So in this case, we will remove the past passport, this uh, the private key. And after that, we will create the, the CSR request. And after using this one, open SSL, then we can create here the certificate. So using this private key. So if we have these two key and the certificate, then we can use SSL. And uh, let's go to the Postbix main configuration file to the configure to support the TLS. So here, TLS key file, the private key here. In my case, I will use this one, sub key, and the certificate, this one, and the uh, SMTP SAS security of uh, options. So now we will let the uh, use SAS. So no anonymous and no plain text and the secret options and non anonymous and that TLS secret level may so before version the previous version we use this one the SMTP TLS use TLS yes but now we will in send OS 6 but we will use this option and the log file session the the cache directory like this and this line SMTPD TLS author only. In this case, normally this one will hide the SAS authentication. But uh, if you want to use SAS and the TLS together, then here SAS secret option must be no only anonymous and SMTPD TLS us only or no must be changed. No like this. And the testing on the SMTP, so Telnet Server 25. So here we can find this kind of string. Start TLS, then this one SMTP support TLS. In the double code, if the double code the try to or want to support TLS, then open this file master.com. So here, just this one, this line comment, and only Activate this kind of IMFS, for example, IMFS, port number, and SSL, yes. And the pop 3 as well is the same. And after that, uh, open 
10-SSL conf. So here we have to configure like this. SSL, yes. And certification, okay, certificate. And the key file, we will use this one. And have that cipher list like this. And top call, post fix, restart. In the client, if the client want to use the, the mail service implemented by the SSL and TLS from the mail server, in this case, first one, Thunderbird, in case of Thunderbird, please check the server setting for each user and here, Port number in my case 9934 the IMAP S and the script setting SSL TLS and password normal password and the outgoing server start the TLS and no authentication. In case of the Microsoft Outlook, so here tools change my the more setting and advanced here in my case I will use the IMAP port number same and the SSA encryption and the SMTP25 encryption will be TLS like this. So and after that let's testing using Wireshark and Dovco to send and receive email. Okay, then the first, uh, let's go back to the here. Okay, here. In the server, first let's uh, create the certificate etc pki and here TLS and uh, here, okay. So in my case, I already created this one, server key and the server certificate and the request as well. So here, if we want to create, just make like this. For example, tland key like this. Then you can use. So in here, we need the password. In my case, T. So using this one, now you can use, you can create the, the other, the uh, certificate and uh, request as well. So now I already create this one. So I will use this one, server, the key, private key and server certificate as well. Okay, then let's go the first fix. So here, let's uh, open main. So now the I already copy the uh, configure for the SSL TLS authentication. So now here I will delete. And uh, for the, the SAS, here I will use first only the SAS like this. So the no anonymous and no plain text. Then in this case, normally I can use only tears, not SAS. Okay, and after that, let's go to the letter test here. Service, pause to fix restart. And after that, tell that uh, server for uh, the port number 25. So now we can see here, start TLS. So now this one, the first big support, the TLS. Okay, and after that, it is C double code. Okay, let's configure the double code. The first, the conf that. Okay, here, 10 master first. In the master file, we have to configure some lines. Okay, let's uh, configure first the IMAP first here. So IMAP the line number 21, the listener IMAP S. So port 993 and I say yes. And this one. And the pop 3 as well. pop 3 say. So this one is support pop 3 and IMAP S. And after that, Line number the 88, the post fix SMTP us. So here, and after that, we will this one the comment. Okay, 
So now I'm ready or uh, the complete to configure the master. And after that, SSL come first. Line number six, SSL. At first, I'm different is node, but I will change it. yes. And after that, uh, line number twelve. Here, the certificate, this one, and the key, the private key, here. And after that, line number the 41, here, cipher list, like this. Okay, then I'm ready to use uh, double code as well. So, service, double code, restart. Okay, then let's check the process here, double code. So now double code is a process. And of that, let's check the port number. Grab first, 993 IMAP S and the 995 POP3S. So now IMAP S and POP3 is supporting the service for the users. Okay. Then now the, I'm ready to use the TLS authentication in the first fix and dub code. So now let's test again. First fix, restart. And uh, dub code as well. Okay, now let's in the now I'm staying in the client. So here let's check the Thunderbird. Here, this is the Thunderbird to the support the Thunderbird, uh, the TLS. So first in Thunderbird, please. In my case, Linux user. Okay, here view setting this account, and after that, first. The server setting in the server setting port number 993 for the IMAP S and the connection the security is a SSL TLS and the authentication is a normal password. Okay, and the outgoing server. So here, click the edit and after that. The, in my case, SMTP port number 25 and the server name like this and connection security, the start TLS and authentication, no authentication. Okay. Okay, then. So let's try to the send the email. Okay, here. First, uh, in the server part, I uh, will check. To... Okay, this one is the server part username is a TLAN. Let's uh, send email. In my case, uh, Linux and the CC Chong. The TLS testing. Testing. Okay, then send. Okay, let's go back to the Linux user. Okay, here receive the TLS testing, and the uh, Windows Windows as well received the the Outlook Microsoft Outlook. So as well this one received from the the TLAN. So this one TLAN and the okay this one is received Linux and the TLAN. Okay, so uh, in the the Microsoft Outlook, if you want to use uh, the TLS configuration, so here click the file and the account setting, account setting. So in my case, using John at the chart.com. So here click change. And after that, so here more settings and the more settings advanced. So here, in my case, I'm a best port number 993 and uh, encryption connection is, is SSL and outgoing of SMTP port number 25 in my case and the encryption connection is a TLS and uh, in the outgoing server, just uncheck here. Okay, then next. So here, if I click, then 
the, this one will the test so the access to the IMF server and email as well. Okay, finish. Then now this one, the Microsoft Arlo also support the TLS authentication. Again, so okay, then the, let's try to use a uh, admin user. Okay, this one try to send the email, right? So here, tland. Dot com and uh, the other user jong.com okay and TLS testing 2 TLS testing 2 okay send okay then let's go back to the client and the server here okay now send and receive so now client the this uh, tln the received from the admin is a contents tls testing two like this and the, this one also receive the like this and the uh, linux oh uh, no no the windows the Microsoft Outlook, the username is Chung. So now user sender is uh, admin and uh, here the content is uh, TLS testing too. So TLN as well, so first TLN testing. So now the Microsoft Outlook and the Thunderbird is working well to support TLS. So now the I already show you how to set up the client for the Thunderbird and the Outlook Express. If you want to configure for the client, especially in the evolution, in my case, in the server part, I'm using the evolution. So here, click Edit the preference. So here, for example, in Tland, Edit. So here, let's uh, configure for this one, receiving email. So here, in my case, uh, security TLS encryption and the password and uh, sending email. Okay, here, the, in my case, the server name ms1, uh, ms1.chol.com and server require authentication and the security TLS encryption, authentication plane and username like this. Then evolution as well support the TLS connection, TLS authentication. Okay, the last uh, the testing using the Wireshark. Okay, here I already the start our shark. So here capture interface. So here the start and uh, continue and the client part the linux user will send the email okay here username the okay tlan and have the chong okay and the uh, itc as well okay so here uh, tls authentication testing okay tls authentication testing like this okay send okay now let's go back to client file first one here i the here this one is a tland let's uh, check okay this one received this one tls authentication testing and the ITC as well. And let's go check the Windows. Okay, Windows as well. Now the user sender is a Linux. So TLS authentication testing. Okay, the last testing here in the server part. Let's stop the capture. Okay, and after that, let's check the email using the first fix. So now this one, you can see, for example, like a uh, Okay, first here the TLS, the TLS like this. So first, before the sending and receiving the data, okay, handshake first. 
So first one uh, here, server, we can see the here, server hello and the certificate. And the, they, they the change the key exchange. And if they cl client as well, if first the server to send the certificate and the client as well, key exchange. Then encrypted handshake messages. Then let's check the application using the TLS. So for example, this one. Okay. So now they are using the secure socket layer and TLS. And so now application data is encrypted. So even if we tr uh, try to capture the packet using the Wireshark for the uh, first pick to support TLS, then all data now is uh, encrypted. So we cannot see. And one more thing. Server part. Okay, let's click this one. Server now. Here, the server the using the TLS, and now the server try to use the handshake the protocol to change the key to the with a client. So in the in this part, we can see the the TLS is a authentication the process, and the client part. Okay, here client as well now they are using handshake the protocol to change uh, to exchange the key with the server part so now if we use the TLS we cannot uh, see we cannot the uh, slip it the packet from the server and client using the TLS on the first fix okay so far I uh, will show you how to uh, use the SASL for the authentication and the TLS and the client configuration as well, such as Thunderbird and Microsoft Outlook and the evolution as well. And of that, I already show you testing the TLS on using the Dovecot and Wireshark. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you in the next video.